Welcome to Book Buzz Reviews and Summaries. Imagine turning your passion into a thriving career, where your art gets the recognition it deserves and your creativity fuels your success. In I'd Rather Be in the Studio, The Artist's No Excuse Guide to Self-Promotion, Alison B. Stanfield delivers a groundbreaking blueprint for artists who dream of more than just creating, they want to conquer the art world. This book is not just a guide, it's a revelation for anyone who feels overwhelmed by the idea of self-promotion or daunted by the thought of marketing their own work. Stanfield's approach is refreshingly practical and no-nonsense, offering actionable strategies that demystify the art of self-promotion. From crafting compelling artist statements and creating a strong online presence to networking effectively and managing public relations, this book covers it all. With her signature blend of insight and encouragement, Stanfield empowers you to overcome the barriers that hold you back and seize the opportunities that will elevate your career. If you've ever thought that marketing isn't for you or that your art should speak for itself, prepare to rethink everything. I'd rather be in the studio. Is your ultimate guide to mastering the art of self-promotion and transforming your creative vision into a successful reality. Introduction, The Artist's Dilemma Every artist has faced it, the tug-of-war between creative passion and the necessity of self-promotion. The studio is a sanctuary, a place where ideas flourish, colors merge, and creativity knows no bounds. But outside that haven lies the often intimidating world of marketing, networking, and building a brand. For many artists, the mere thought of self-promotion conjures up feelings of dread. Yet, in today's competitive landscape, it's an essential skill. Enter I'd Rather Be in the Studio, by Alison B. Stanfield, a book that has become a lifeline for countless artists struggling to navigate the complex world of self-promotion. This isn't just another guide to marketing, it's a no-excuse manual that empowers artists to take control of their careers without sacrificing their creative integrity. From building a compelling online presence to mastering the art of networking, Stanfield offers practical, actionable advice that is as motivating as it is effective. Chapter 1 Embracing the Necessity of Self Promotion. The first hurdle many artists face is accepting that self promotion is not just necessary, but crucial to their success. Stanfield begins by addressing the common excuses that artists use to avoid promoting their work. She understands the resistance, after all, most artists would rather be in the studio, lost in the process of creation. But she also knows that without effective promotion, even the most brilliant artwork can go unnoticed. Stanfield dismantles the myth that self-promotion is somehow antithetical to being a true artist. She argues that sharing your work with the world is an extension of the creative process. By promoting your art, you're giving it life beyond the studio walls, allowing it to connect with people, evoke emotions, and make an impact. This chapter is a call to arms, urging artists to see self-promotion not as a burden but as a vital part of their artistic journey. Chapter 2 – Crafting Your Artist Statement – The Foundation of Your Brand At the core of any successful promotional strategy is a strong, clear artist statement. Stanfield emphasizes that an artist's statement is more than just a description of your work, it's the foundation of your brand. It's the story you tell the world about who you are as an artist, what you create, and why it matters. In this chapter, Stanfield guides readers through the process of crafting an artist's statement that is both authentic and compelling. She provides examples of effective statements and breaks down the elements that make them successful. The exercises she offers are designed to help artists dig deep, reflect on their creative motivations, and articulate their unique artistic voice. Stanfield also addresses common pitfalls, such as using jargon or being too vague. She encourages artists to write in a way that is accessible to a broad audience while still staying true to their vision. By the end of this chapter, Readers will have the tools to create an artist statement that not only defines their brand but also serves as a powerful marketing tool. Chapter 3 Building Your Online Presence, Your Virtual Studio. In today's digital age, having a strong online presence is non negotiable for artists. This chapter dives into the nuts and bolts of building a website that showcases your work and tells your story. Stanfield argues that your website is your virtual studio a place where potential buyers, gallery owners, and fans can visit to learn more about you and your art. 
Stanfield walks readers through the key components of an artist's website, including a portfolio, biography, contact information, and blog. She stresses the importance of high-quality images, easy navigation, and clear calls to action. The chapter also covers the importance of regularly updating your website with new work and news, keeping your audience engaged and coming back for more. Beyond the basics, Stanfield explores the benefits of integrating a blog into your website. Blogging, she suggests, is a way to share your creative process, discuss the themes and inspirations behind your work, and connect with your audience on a deeper level. She provides tips on how to create content that is not only interesting, but also SEO-friendly, helping you attract more visitors to your site. Chapter 4, Social Media for Artists, More Than Just a Scroll Social media is a powerful tool for artists, but it can also be overwhelming. In this chapter, Stanfield demystifies the world of social media, offering practical advice on how to use platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter to promote your art. She emphasizes that social media is not just about posting images of your work, it's about building relationships and engaging with your audience. Stanfield discusses the importance of consistency, authenticity, and storytelling in your social media strategy. She encourages artists to think of social media as a conversation rather than a broadcast. By sharing behind-the-scenes glimpses of your studio, discussing your creative process, and interacting with followers, you can create a loyal and engaged community around your work. The chapter also covers the importance of understanding each platform's unique audience and tailoring your content accordingly. Stanfield provides tips on how to use hashtags effectively, the best times to post, and how to leverage analytics to refine your strategy. Whether you're new to social media or looking to take your efforts to the next level, this chapter offers invaluable insights. Chapter 5 Networking Connecting with the Art World Networking can be one of the most intimidating aspects of self promotion, especially for introverted artists. But Stanfield reframes networking as simply building relationships with people who share your passion for art. She offers strategies for connecting with gallery owners, collectors, fellow artists, and potential clients in a way that feels natural and genuine. This chapter provides a roadmap for attending art openings, industry events, and workshops with confidence. Stanfield discusses how to prepare for these events, including what to bring, how to introduce yourself, and how to follow up afterward. She also emphasizes the importance of being yourself and letting your enthusiasm for your work shine through. Stanfield's approach to networking is refreshingly practical. She acknowledges that not every interaction will lead to a sale or a gallery show, but each connection is an opportunity to build your reputation and expand your circle of influence. The chapter also covers online networking, offering tips on how to make meaningful connections through email, social media, and online communities. Chapter 6 Getting Your Work Into Galleries The Path to Representation For many artists, securing gallery representation is a major career milestone. But it's also one of the most challenging goals to achieve. In this chapter, Stanfield provides a step by step guide to getting your work into galleries from researching potential venues to crafting the perfect pitch. Stanfield emphasizes the importance of finding the right gallery, one that aligns with your artistic style and goals. She offers advice on how to research galleries, visit exhibitions, and build relationships with gallery owners and curators. The chapter also covers the do's and don'ts of submitting your work for consideration, including how to write a compelling cover letter and artist statement. Stanfield also addresses the emotional side of this process, acknowledging that rejection is a natural part of the journey. She encourages artists to view rejection as an opportunity for growth rather than a setback. By staying persistent, continuing to refine your craft, and building your professional network, she assures readers that success is within reach. Chapter 7 The Power of Press – Getting Media Coverage for Your Art Getting media coverage can significantly boost your visibility and credibility as an artist. In this chapter, Stanfield explores how to attract the attention of art critics, bloggers, and journalists. She offers tips on how to write effective press releases, pitch your story to media outlets, and make the most of interviews and reviews. 
Stanfield highlights the importance of understanding what makes a story newsworthy and how to position your work in a way that appeals to the media. She also discusses the benefits of local versus national coverage and how to leverage media attention to build your brand and reach a wider audience. The chapter includes real-life examples of artists who have successfully used media coverage to elevate their careers, providing inspiration and practical advice for those looking to do the same. Stanfield also addresses common mistakes artists make when dealing with the press and how to avoid them. Chapter 8, Selling Your Art, From Pricing to Persuasion Pricing your work can be one of the most difficult aspects of being an artist. This chapter delves into the complexities of pricing art, offering guidelines on how to set prices that reflect the value of your work while remaining competitive in the market. Stanfield discusses factors to consider, such as the cost of materials, time invested, and your experience level. The chapter also covers the psychology of selling, offering tips on how to talk about your art in a way that resonates with potential buyers. Stanfield emphasizes the importance of confidence and enthusiasm when presenting your work, whether at a gallery opening, art fair, or online. Stanfield also provides strategies for negotiating with buyers, handling objections, and closing the sale. She encourages artists to see selling not as a necessary evil, but as an opportunity to share their passion with others. The chapter concludes with advice on how to build long-term relationships with collectors and repeat buyers ensuring a steady stream of income and support for your career. Chapter 9, Maintaining Momentum, The Art of Consistency Consistency is key to long-term success, both in your creative practice and your promotional efforts. In this chapter, Stanfield offers strategies for maintaining momentum in your career, from setting goals to staying organized. She discusses the importance of regular reflection and self-assessment, encouraging artists to periodically review their progress and adjust their strategies as needed. Stanfield also addresses the challenges of balancing creative work with the demands of self-promotion. She provides tips on how to stay motivated, avoid burnout, and keep your passion for art alive. The chapter includes advice on how to create a sustainable routine that allows for both artistic exploration and professional growth. This chapter is a reminder that the journey of an artist is a marathon, not a sprint. By staying consistent, staying true to your vision, and continually learning and adapting, you can build a fulfilling and successful career. Conclusion, no more excuses, taking control of your artistic destiny. I'd rather be in the studio. Is more than just a guide to self-promotion, it's a call to action for artists to take control of their careers. Allison B. Stanfield provides a comprehensive, no-excuse roadmap to success, offering practical advice, actionable steps, and the encouragement needed to overcome the fear and resistance that often hold artists back. Throughout the book, Stanfield's passion for helping artists shine through. Her approach is compassionate yet firm, understanding the challenges artists face while pushing them to rise above excuses and take proactive steps toward their goals. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, this book will equip you with the tools, strategies, and mindset needed to thrive in the art world. By embracing the principles outlined in this book, artists can transform their approach to self-promotion, turning it from a dreaded task into an empowering part of their creative journey. No more hiding in the studio, it's time to step into the spotlight and let the world see your work. Please read the book to learn more and consider subscribing to support the channel. Thank you.